Hey guys, it's been kind of a, it's just been a wacky couple of weeks, but I did start to vlog it and I thought, you know, if I could share a little bit of what these last two couple of weeks have been like and show you some of the things that we've done, maybe, you know, just get a little taste of what life is like in New Hampshire or New England. <laughs> struggle sometimes with videos you know because it's it's like I don't want to just do the same old same old and I love vlogging but I don't want to vlog when I don't have anything to share and so the last couple of weeks have been really really interesting so first of all I ended up oh gosh you know I I don't know whether it's the change of seasons which I think is what it is but I ended up just with the most horrible dry flaky skin it was like the my lower face was like peeling off in sheets and i was like going holy mackerel how how am i gonna deal with this because i couldn't stand it and it was right around the time that i was doing a lot of teaching i was doing a lot of teaching via zoom which you, you know it's like when you're when you're in speaker mode they see you you know up close and personal and quite frankly my day-to-day, -day, you know, makeup is going to be more low-key than, say, if I was going to be doing, you know, a film. Like, right now, I have, I, well, actually, I shouldn't say that. Right now, I have about the same makeup I have on as if I was going to work because it's, my eyes are the same. Everything is the same. The only thing that's different would be my hair. But anyways, I was, like, so mortified, you know, with my skin coming off in sheets. I just, I couldn't believe it. But, so... I kept thinking, what is it? You know, am I what am I ramping up? What am I changing? And I really, I couldn't think of anything. So I think it was just like the season. So I exfoliated a little bit more. I ended up using my microderm, my microderm abrasion, which I try to use like once a month. My skin doesn't really need it because I use the Retin-A and I do other exfoliation that I don't need that deep exfoliation as much. But I ended up using that and you know i use the i mean i have my favorite tools you know skincare tools and i use the spatula from trophy skin a couple of times you know a week maybe almost every day but i use it a lot so i feel that my pores are getting cleaned out but i think the retin-a the change of the season just kind of like did a number on me so i did a good exfoliation with my microderm and, I, you know, a lot of the dead skin went away and then I sat under, and I do this every day, and many of you have kind of asked about this, but I do the red light therapy. I've been using the Trophy Skin, their red light therapy for, I think it's been a year now. And there was, that was the one big tool that was initially sent to me complimentary from Trophy Skin. I have bought all my other Trophy Skin tools that I use, but they sent that to me complimentary in exchange for a review. And I love that. I, I really, I think if you research red light therapy, I think you will understand all the benefits. You know, the, the, the red light, you know, if you have the, the right light output, it can make a huge difference on your skin. So the only thing on that one is I have to lie down because it's a big thing that when I'm traveling, I'm not going to bring it with me. I'm not going to pack it. I'm not going to put it in my motorhome. It just takes up too much room. Well, not too long ago, Natalie the Beauty Diva had reviewed a product or had gotten a product complimentary and it was an other light. <laughs> it's like really kind of wild. But um, so I said, oh, yeah. And... I believe this is on sale right now too. So I wanted to turn it on like right here. That's the red light. That's the blue, amber. So <laughs> it's like, you know, the cool thing about this is that I don't, I don't think the, I don't think it's quite as strong as my trophy skin when I'm lying there for five minutes, the output. But this, because you can, it doesn't harm your eyes and you can walk around and you can do things. But the red light itself is, there are so many benefits for anti-aging, just for turning over the collagen. The blue is more for texture, acne. Anyways, I got this 
and I was like so psyched. It comes with a USB charger, but the reason I'm super psyched about this is that I can put this in my motorhome. So when we went away, and I'll tell you, I'll, I'll review it. I'll do a, a better, a thorough look at it in my next video because I've been using it for a little bit now. But when we went away and we were camping, we went up, we did our last camping hurrah and we went up to Booth Bay Harbor and we stay in this little campground in Booth Bay Harbor and it's not on the water. It's it's one of, we st we stay on the water an awful lot, but up in Booth Bay, Shore Hills, this is this particular one is not on the water. Several years ago, well, I'm online, maybe about three years ago, maybe four, I had done a video. In East Booth Bay has the most beautiful stretch of oceanfront land. It's called um, Ocean Point. And, and over at Ocean Point in East Booth Bay, they have a beach, a rocky beach. They have rocks that you can walk out and, and they have a lighthouse and they have this most gorgeous ocean drive with this this little church anyway several years ago we discovered it and every year we go back we go back over and over again i think about maybe three years ago i did a recording i was sitting in the back seat of the car and jay was driving and i drove all along ocean point and it was beautiful and i i published it on my youtube channel if i can find it i'll, I'll post a link and anyways, long story short, we were actually contacted by somebody that called us and they said, oh, you know, we love your videos. We watch your video. We just bought that house you drove by and you showed in your video. We've shared your video with our friends and family so they could see our house. They were super, super friendly. And they said, next time you're up, if we're there, knock on the door, come visit us. If we're not there, come sit on that deck and actually look at the sunset you were trying to film from the road from our deck. Well, long story short, every time we've gone up to Booth Bay, they've never been there. And we just never really felt comfortable actually going on their deck, even though they had sent the invitation. But um, this year we got there on Friday night and we drove down Friday night. It's one of the first things we do. We drove down Ocean Point and we had our friends with us. And sure enough, we got up to their house and they were outside working. So Jay kind of stops and, you know, like not really on the side of the road because there's like really no side of the road there, right? But he kind of stops and they kind of look up and they start walking and Jay rolled down the window and I'm like this. <gasps> And they go, oh, it's Jay and Monica. <laughs> they recognized us. So anyways, they invited us in. They gave us a tour of the house. And they were going to be leaving the very next day because they were going back to, I think they were heading to Pennsylvania or maybe Florida. I'm not too sure which property is there. So anyways, um, they said, hey, we're leaving first thing in the morning, but if you guys are around still and you want to, the sunset's supposed to be beautiful, come out and enjoy our deck. And that is what we did. We drove down to Ocean Point and you can see the little cottage coming up. We just had brought our own chairs. We sat out on the deck. It was totally magnificent to be out on their deck at Ocean Point in East Booth Bay watching the sun set. I mean, all these years we've gone there and walked on that road and taken pictures of all the different properties, but to actually be on someone's deck with our own chairs, we brought wine, we brought cheese and crackers. We're very, very careful to not leave anything behind when we left, but it was just, just an amazing, amazing thing. We love, love, love East Booth Bay. We love that whole area. And, you know, here is just the campground is sort of no frills, but the 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 location, it is there's like a tidal river that abuts it. So this is me sort of walking down to the end of the campground and and, uh, you know, you could see a little bit of the tidal river. It's just really super peaceful down there. And while peak was too, it was too early for peak over in Maine, the foliage, the colors and all that. It was still really gorgeous, and I can imagine it was like a week later, but we did that, and then as tradition, we always go up to Pemaquit Point Lighthouse when we're there, and at Pemaquit Point Lighthouse, there is this restaurant and gift shop that is just this quaint, quaint little thing on the edge of the ocean. The lighthouse is on one side, and every year we go there multiple times, and sometimes we have a little lunch overlooking because they get a little dining room and you can also eat outside. And of course there's ice cream and the Jay has to have his ice cream. And I always usually get some sort of either a hat or I get something, I get some sort of little gifty thing. We were devastated when we got there because 
we're like, first of all, we drove down, we could see there was this like this tag sale. And then we said, oh my gosh, you know, oh my gosh, the building was gone. They had had, now this, this was uh, Columbus Day weekend, you know, in the beginning of October. The, they had a fire in September that totally, totally destroyed the place. I was like, and there were other cottages nearby that, you know, were slightly affected by the heat and, the, and a little bit of damage. But I was like amazed. I couldn't believe this. I, I mean, it's so shocking for us that this had happened. And and so they were doing a fundraiser and all that. You know, the, the people weren't sure they are going to rebuild. But holy mackerel, that was such, such a shock to see all that. I, we're thinking of taking a trip up to Booth Bay over the Christmas holiday, depending on whether or not they have, they have these unbelievable gardens that are all done up for the holidays. And we've never gone at the holiday, you know, during Christmas, but we were thinking about doing an overnight trip, just staying in a hotel. We'll see. But we came back home. And uh, I had all sorts of goodies in the, in the mail. I had, I think I already talked about the Skin SkinCeuticals, um, that I got this package from Skin SkinCeutical. I've been using the neck stuff. Oh my gosh, it was really, it, it, I mean, I've been using it. It feels really good. I don't know if it's going to make any difference yet, but it feels really good. And then I, I'm getting another, uh, another package in the mail. It's coming Tuesday. Anyways, we decided that weekend we came home the following weekend when's our grandson's Augie's first birthday and then the Saturday before his birthday party Jay and I decided we we're going to take a ride up to the town of Budding Us. Chester has every year they have these they have a, a scarecrow fundraiser and they they the fundraiser goes to the historical society in Chester and the townspeople just just support this fundraiser like crazy and they they deck out these scarecrows i guess you buy the frame and all that and then you get as creative as you want with it but the frame that you purchase goes to the historical society and whatever else that they might sell with it so people were putting these scarecrows up all over their yards and every year we want to go and take a look at it you know obviously and um as you can see from some of the photos that i've uh, hopefully in post in here uh superimposed in here there's some fabulous 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 works of art you know scarecrows and we got up there in time i mean the scenery was beautiful jay and i walked all around we took tons of pictures and i absolutely loved loved exploring chester that day it was just so perfect this one really cracked me up <laughs> the campers and jay said this reminded him of the two of us. I bet you they light that up at night. And the two campers. <laughs> that not cute? <laughs> and then, you know, this other guy on, um, on the bench. Just never know what you're going to see on the side of the road. It's like awesome. Can you see the little crows? It's like really cool. <laughs> oh, no, but it was like amazing you know everywhere we turned everything we did in Chester that day the views were just beautiful we went all the way to Auburn and we took pictures over by the little waterfall in Auburn and this is a place that we go to all the time and I was so glad we did because I do love fall I mean we, we were so lucky this year because it doesn't always happen this way that we were able to go to the mountains and enjoy that even though we didn't um didn't it was past peak up there and then when we got home from columbus day weekend it was peak here in southern new hampshire so we did get to enjoy the really really beautiful scenery and then the next day was the birthday party for my i was blessed that you know my mother was there my kids were there you know we missed my dad we did we missed my dad everyone missed my dad he was just such a huge presence, you know, in all our lives. It's still hard to believe that he's not there. But anyways, um, other than that, I mean, I have had the itch. I've had the itch. Yeah, I'm back to having an itch. Um, and the itch is just, you know, I've been like drooling over some of the palettes and all that. I did buy the Natasha Denona this year. And I think that's in the Huda, the Huda Mavic upset, uh, Purple Haze. 
I got the mauve obsessions for, for my uh, Sheila for my birthday it was last year it was last year and um, so but yeah I haven't really been tempted by a lot of the new releases and I've seen so many new you know releases coming out but I haven't been that tempted by it at all I've been more tempted by some of the skincare stuff that I've got City Beauty has some stuff coming out that they're sending out and um, and I, I tell you, I love a lot of the City Beauty products. I do. And, I, and there are some of the products that don't work for me, you know, and I don't mind saying that, you know, it's not everything is going to work for everybody. So, but SkinCeuticals and then I'm getting another, another, um, it should be arriving this week. And I'm going to do a separate video on that one because that's a special, like a spe not a holiday, but it's a special limited edition product. And, I, and I'm really excited about that. So, um, yeah. So, I think the other thing I'm excited about is I'm trying hard to get back on track with diet. Boy, this vlog is all over the place. I started out with like, what am I going to say? <laughs> and I'm like, blah, motor mouth to you guys. You're all going to go, oh my God, be quiet. But yeah, I'm getting super motivated for, you know, getting back on my fitness track. I know I've said this before over and over again, but I've had, uh, I used to do 10,000 steps a day. I have an iWatch, Apple Watch. I have the Apple Watch, I think it's the two. And, um, it's still going strong. I love it. So I got back into trying to increase my steps. I was looking at what I had done most of this last year, which was really poor. I know my dad was sick and I was back and forth to the hospital and making extremely poor uh, choices on food. Not so much choices on food, but the amount of the, you know, the portions. So I was looking at it, you know, and I used to always hit 10,000 a day. Easy. And this last year, my average was like 3,000, 3,500, 2,900. And I'm like going, oh my gosh, you know, no wonder I'm not losing weight. No wonder I'm gaining weight. No wonder I feel so sluggish. So um, I've been increasing this past week. I've hit over 7,000 each day. Not quite at my 10,000 yet, but over, over 7,000 each day. I am so happy about that. I've increased my water intake. I really think that especially with everything going on in the world with COVID, all the political stuff and all that stuff, I really think you need to find a balance. You know, you need to find a balance. And um, for me, that balance is I avoid the negativity. Everyone has the right to their opinion. God bless you all. Believe in God or not, God bless you all. Um, you all have the right to your own opinions. And I would never, ever, ever judge anyone that believes in something different than I do. And I hope I hope it's the same, you know, from, from, I hope I get extended the same. But I really believe I have to work on keeping my life balance. And I got out of, out of whack with my diet, with my fitness, COVID, my dad's illness, and um, this political crap that's going on. So I choose to avoid a lot of all the stuff, you know, I avoid it. I... I do what I have to do for my balance, my my well-being, my family's well-being. And that's just really what I'm working on, taking the time to breathe the air without a mask on outside when possible. If I'm in if I'm in a situation like at work and I have a, in a store with people, the mask is on, but walking around my yard, you know, the beach, the mountains, no. Breathe the air. It's so good for you. And drinking my water, you know, just increasing my water. So monitoring those steps again is getting me all pumped up. It really is. It's getting me like all pumped up. And then just increasing my water and staying positive no matter what happens. You know, I don't even know when this is going to go public, but no matter what happens out there in the world, none of us can just give up. We have to, we have to keep on working at it and that's part of our positive attitude and you know and for me with my dad the mourning process accepting the fact that I'm going to mourn him forever and it's okay you know it's okay to cry it's okay to get upset but it's more important for you to put a good attitude on you know to kind of take expel all the negativity <laughs> breathe it out <laughs> exercise a little bit walk even if it's a slow pace. I'm moving and that's what matters. Why am I preaching? I don't know. 
but I am. So I'm going to stop preaching. This law, this I'm sure is going to be a super long vlog. You guys are not going to watch it all. I hope you do though. Um, but anyways, yeah, I don't know what my next vlog will be if I have one because I don't have anything coming up that's really shareable. But if it is, you know, other than me just walking around the house in circles talking about what I have to do or whatever, I'll, sh I'll share it, obviously, if it's shareable. So anyways, guys, you have a good one. Bye-bye.